afternoon action coming up from South Florida. It's Pirates Baseball next on the show. MLB The Show's coverage of Major League Baseball brings us to the great state of Florida and Marlins Park in Miami. One for the dads here as we get you set for this Father's Day matchup between the central leading Pittsburgh Pirates and the Miami Marlins. Hi again everybody, Matt Vaskersian getting set to bring you this one on the show. More from the guys as this one goes along. But first, let's get a look at the starting lineup for the visiting Pittsburgh Pirates. This manager Clint Hurdle has his squad lined up like this. Nate Valdi will be on the mound to face them, and if he's going to be successful against these hitters, he's going to need to keep the ball down in the strike zone without question. The Marlins will align themselves like this. Welcome to Marlins Park. It takes a strong man to get one out here in center field, and he hits this ball a ton, but there's an awful lot of room out there. This ball just gets swallowed up pretty easily in the end. And this will be lined into center field, and they've got themselves their first hit of the ball game. A look there at the starting lineup for the host Marlins. They'll match up against a product of the Phillies organization, right-hander Vance Worley. Look now at how the Pirates line up on D behind him. Christian Yelich will step in now to lead things off in the home half of the first. Two. Now here's the pitch. Fastball swung on and missed for the first down. Well, this is a stroll he's taken five times in this series now. That slow walk back to the dugout after getting punched out. After a while, these things, they start to wear on you. You've got to try to keep the mindset that every at-bat's a new opportunity, but most of the time, that's easier said than done. Giancarlo Stanton will stand in now. Certainly a dangerous hitter as he ranks number two in the National League in home runs. Ball. A swing and a bouncing ball now to the right side that Walker will not be able to flag down. It's a base hit. Ike Davis will stride in now. A couple of hits for him in four trips in yesterday's ball game. Now a ball hit hard towards the hole. A dive, but he can't knock it down. It's through for a base hit. Neil Walker will stand in. Batting six, second baseman, Neil Walker. Now the first pitch. Ran one in on him there as this is hit softly to third. Oh, and he has some trouble with it. And they won't get an out from this as he's able to reach on a play that you just don't see very often. Well, that's the kind of year it's been for this guy so far. Even when he gets fooled, he still finds a way to get an infield single out of it. 
Russell Martin will get his first shot now and you can see how he's done over the course of this five game hitting streak. And here's a big swing as he sends this one in the air out toward deep center. Bogusevic has to roam straight back but he has it for the first out. Jordy Mercer will get his first opportunity here and that averages swinging a ground ball to short and that's through into left a base hit and they will hold that runner over at third as he'll move up only 90 feet but the bases are loaded with one away Greg Dobbs will start things off in the bottom of the second. Hit hard to third. And that'll get by into left field, so he's on to lead off the inning. Jared Saltalamacchia will dig in for the first time here, looking to change his fortunes a bit as he's seen that average dip these last four or so games. And he gets ahead 0-1. Now he spins on a fastball here and drives one to deep right field. And that is into the right field seats. It's a home run. A two-run blast to straightaway right field. Number 14 on the season. And the Marlins have taken a two-to-nothing lead. his first hit of the entire series here and he makes it a good one all right this one clears the wall by plenty and now back in the dugout you can imagine he's probably saying gosh it's about time Brian Bogusevic will stand in for the first time here now a swing as he rifles this one into center for a base hit Rafael for call. Will do. Now it looks like a right-hander's up and throwing in the Pittsburgh bullpen. Swing and a shot to third. And this will be a base hit for for call. Throw comes back in quickly, so they're at first and second now with nobody out. Nate Valdi stand in, and you can almost guarantee he'll be trying to move those runners here. And they indeed want the pitcher to move his runners as he puts this one down. Bare-handed pickup. Christian Yelich will stand in with four runs home in the inning already and still nothing in the outcome. Well, at this place, but you've got to pick your spots. Now a shot toward the gap in left center, and this will find the gap as Marte and McCutcheon chase this thing out to the wall. And they'll add another as this is now a 5-0 game. Now here's Clint Hurdle out of the Pittsburgh dugout on his way to the mound. And he's going to motion for the bullpen as that'll be all for his starter this afternoon. So he'll beat an early retreat here this afternoon as he could never really get into the flow of the ball game. Charlie Morton is going to come on now here in just the second inning, so he'll likely be asked to work a few innings here. Garrett Jones will dig in here. He flew out his first time around. And strike three there as they'll finally work out of the inning as the side is retired. Nine men come to the plate, however. Five of them score. We play two full. Miami's out in front, five to nothing. And there are two away now. Pedro Alvarez will stand in. He grounded out his first time. Here's a ball hit high down the right field line. This ball has a chance, and it is gone. A 
solo home run for Pedro Alvarez. Number 21 for him on the season. As they get on the scoreboard here, it's 5-1. Even though this is just a solo home run, it's important because you at least need to get on the board. Let these guys know that they're not going to just walk away with this. Jared Saltalamacchia will try things again. He hit that two-run homer his first time. Idea to take a look at that one there. Now that you've seen the curveball, you can start to get a better gauge on it. Get a feel for what it looks like coming out of the pitcher's hand. Ryan Bogusevic will stride in again. Singled and later scored his first time. Here's the first offering. Swing and a ball hit softly on the ground. And he'll just beat the throw to second. He's in there. Rafael Fercal will stride in again. Singled and later scored his first time. And he waits on a change up there and pulls it to fairly deep right field. But he's going to get there as he runs it down on the warning track for the second out of the inning. Greg Dobbs will dig in one for two to this point in the ball game. And they go right after him on the inside corner for strike one. Real good lateral movement on that two seam fastball. That pitch is money for him when it's moving like that. So just keep on throwing it. Got him looking with the fastball as that had some two-seam movement to it. Two gone. And at this point in the game, your defenders will love you for this. He's been able to pick up the first two outs of the inning here on just four pitches. Jared Saltalamacchia will stand in. He homered back in the second inning of this one. Watches a fastball right there for strike one. I tell you, he's got a good pace. A good tempo to him out there right balls, now. Two strikes. And Saltalamachia swings right through that one as he's in the hole now, down 0-2. Now he drops a changeup on him. Strike three called, and a great pitch there to retire the side. Miami down in order. They're up 5-1. Pedro Alvarez will stand in to lead off the inning. Maybe Middle four, third of the lineup, four, third, five, five, and six. That curve gives you something else to think about altogether. Not surprisingly here, this is on the ground to the right side. And that's through, a base hit. Well, they got him to hit it right into the shift, but now even with three guys first over base there, base they base still base. couldn't. Neil Walker will step in, a ground out victim as last time. Swing and a ball hit hard on the ground at first. And this stays down on him, and it's right by him at first. And they continue to rack up the hits. That puts runners on first and second now. But, as we always say, it's what you do with all those base runners that's important. And so far, they haven't done a whole lot. Brian Bogusevic stand in to lead things off. His full now, three and two. Well, he might have just said, look, you're going to have to take this one because you ain't fouling that one off. Swing and a miss, and he's got that strikeout pitch working now. That's three in a row for him as there's one away. Travis Snyder is up off the bench as he'll pinch hit here to start inning number seven. Travis Snyder. A couple of righties starting to loosen now in the bullpen. This is hit high in the air and pretty deep down the left field line. Around first, heading for second now. And now this will get over the wall down the line out there for a ground rule double. Starling Marte will stand in with a runner in scoring position already here following the ground rule double.
close to the bag. It's second there. Now the pitch. Here's a line drive into left center. Will that get the job done? It's a base hit. And the run will score from second here to make this a 5-2 to two ball game. Well, apparently, they still got a pulse here. A run is in to score on the base hit, and now, with another hit or two, they could really make this in. Justin Wilson will get the ball now as he'll take over on the mound to start the home seventh. Justin Wilson. Christian Yelich will step in now to lead off the home half of the seventh. Through it, one and two now. Wow, what a good time to take something off of that pitch. And they had him fooled pretty good on that one. Oh, a fastball swung on and missed. And for the second time today, he's gone on strikes. Boy, this has been a real nice series for him so far. That's six strikeouts. Greg Dobbs will have another go. He struck out looking his last time. Strikes. And you know what, guys? This is a big league battle going on right now. Neither guy nope. wants to back down. No sign of weakness on either side. And he looks at one that misses, and that's an excellent job of making his man throw a lot of pitches as he toughs out a wall. Jared Saltalamacchia will stand in. He homered back in the second inning. Uh, had him fooled as he swings through the curveball. Two down. That was quite a nice little battle as we check out the sequence of pitches here. It was a six pitch at bat. And as you watch this, you'll see that he wasn't going to go down without a fight. He was able to keep the at bat alive by fighting off a couple of tough two strike pitches. But in the end, finally put away on that pitch right there, one and two. Brian Bogusevic will get another shot. Struck out swinging his last time. And now the benefit of you working the count to 3-2 is that that... And we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three, and that will retire the side. One left for Miami. They're still out in front, 5-2. And now we're going to have a conference at the home plate area, so it would appear that we'll see a double switch here. Steve Ciszek is on now to try to close things down here in the ninth. And batting in the sixth spot, number 31, Steve Ciszek. Now catching and batting in the ninth spot, number six. Russell Martin will stand in, needing to get things started here in the top of the ninth. The one-two. Now here's a ground ball that'll get by the mound and into center field for a leadoff single. Jordy Mercer will stride in, grounded out his last time through. Jordy Mercer. Here's a ground ball now through the hole into left, and they've got something cooking here. Back-to-back -back singles to lead off the inning. Well, this is a very good approach here with two strikes. It's a smart approach. You know, he's not... Gabby Sanchez will get the call here as he'll hit for the pitcher. Number 17, Gabby Sanchez. on the change there and this is hit high and fairly deep out to left and that ball is gone a home run and he has tied it up here in the ninth so a three run blast to straight away left home run number five on the year as we are all tied at five Well, we can pretty much go ahead and start this game over right now. You see where this pitch was on show track? He's not going to miss it when it's in that location. That three-run home run pulls us right back. A.J. Ramos will come in and pitch now. Ed 
Edinson Volquez will come on needing to get three outs here to try to send this game to extra innings. Jeff Mathis will step in now. One and two, you've got to be thinking right center field. But take a little swing out and try to drive something the other way. Throw to first will take care of him. Score it two to three on the put out, and there are two gone now. Tenth. Ike Davis will step in, a ground out victim as last time. And a swing as he pulls this one into right. And some trouble now in right field. And he'll round it and try for third. The relay throw. And he'll make it to third base safely with only one out as the go-ahead run. Boy, that was not real pretty to watch right there. The ball's hit hard, and it looks like he's got a beat on it. But the next thing you know, zips right by him. And that batter says, time to kick it into high gear. He's going to make it all the way up to third. Neil Walker will have a chance here in a crucial spot with the go-ahead run just 90 feet away. Swing, line, drive. Dives, and he hangs on for the out. Wow. And boy, I thought they might have had a shot at scoring him there, but they put up the stop sign with two away now. And you wonder if maybe he's kicking himself at third base right now for not trying to score on this. It's a heck of a play just to make the catch. Donovan Solano will lead it off now in the home half of inning number 10. And the pitch. And he takes strike three cold on the fastball, one gone. And as a hitter, the thing you hate about this is that you have to have consistency. If this was a strike in the second inning, then that's fine. But if this was a ball earlier and, and now it's a strike, I mean, what's changed? Edinson Volquez will get his first shot at it here. Now a swing and a sharp ground ball to third. And this is going to find its way into left for a one-out knock. Pinch hitter? Who needs a pinch hitter? Hey, there's nothing to this. Left fielder. Starling Marte will stand in. Just one for five in this one. Oh, and he hung the slider here, and it's a towering drive out to deep left field. This ball is gone. A home run. It's a two-run shot to straightaway left. Eighth home run on the season for him, and they take a 7-5 to five lead. You just can't throw that pitch right there. That swing tells a story right there. I mean, he got all of that one. Remember, he homered in yesterday's ball game too, so he's riding a pretty good hot streak these past couple of days. And now time is called, and the reliever is warm out there. Jason Grilly, come on now. They've saved him for the 11th as he'll try and take this one home. Greg Dobbs will get us going now in the home half of the 11. I'll just nope, try to freeze him with the fastball there. Pretty close. It's two and two. Boy, that's a good take there. I don't think I could have laid off that one. Swing and a miss, and that'll get a groan from the home supporters here. One away. And this is where the scouting report really pays off. I mean, sometimes you just got to go looking for a soft spot in the guy's zone, and they found one there. Number nine will grab a bat and hit for the pitcher here. And 
and this is swung on and missed, so not a productive at-bat off the bench, and there are two away now. Yeah, it's starting to look like he's got this one under control. Just one out away now from a big extra inning victory here on the road. Ryan Bogusevic steps in now. Too far behind. Swing and a miss. He struck him out, and that'll do it here as the ball game is over. Well, maybe it took him a couple more innings than they had hoped, but a win's a win, and they get a good one here on the road in 11 innings. Time for one last check of the line score in this extra innings victory. Entertaining game all in all, so if we have to choose one who stood out among all others, why not go with this man right here? He's our top player of the